Oh. Hello there, people. I am back. Alive. Very pale, apparently, but that's because it's winter. Um, today I want to talk about the people who got Triple H over. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is shortly after the Royal Rumble, Mick Foley's son, Dewey, we all know Dewey, tweeted that Triple H was a fucking king, that it's fucking dictatorship now in WWE, that he's just giving his buddies titles, which I said the same thing in my article on Royal Rumble, and that Mick Foley was the one who got Triple H over in the main event, and Mick Foley was the one who was also told, you'll never make it. This is true, but there are other people who helped Triple H get over too, and I'm going to talk about them. And then we're going to wonder why these people ever helped the selfish son of a bitch called Triple H. First of all, Mick Foley was one of the ones who got him over. It was Mick Foley, Steve Austin, and The Rock. Steve Austin and Mick Foley were both told at one point, you'll never make it, you'll never be a main event player. Mick Foley, I believe, was told this by Ric Flair and Ole Anderson when they were bookers at WCW. They pretty much told him, taking abuse, doing the stunts, it may get you over briefly, but you'll never be in the main event. Eric Bischoff famously told Stone Cold when he was in WCW, you'll never be a main event player, you're a mid-carder. Now, Triple H, in my mind, is a mid-carder who sucked enough of Vince McMahon's dick to become a main event player. And Mick Foley and Stone Cold and The Rock were professional enough to get the man over. Now, when, Mick, when Triple H first got his world title run in 1999, his main feud was Stone Cold Steve Austin who busted his ass to get the man over, and it really didn't work. He was still viewed as a mid-carder who didn't deserve the title, though Stone Cold gave him everything he could and got him over. Then Triple H gets the title again in January of 2000. It was really, his first runs were nothing special. Stone Cold got his ass over as best he could. Because Stone Cold is a professional, and they told him, hey, we need you to do the job to help this guy. Stone Cold's like, I'm not going to be around forever. I might as well do the job. And Triple H is just like, ha, 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 everybody's got to do what I say. Ha, 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 ha. And that was Triple H, you know, he's like, ha ha, I had Shawn Michaels help me. Now I'm sucking Vince McMahon's dick. Ha ha, they're getting me over. I wanted to be a star, I'm going to be a star. Even though he didn't deserve it. So then he gets the title in January. Mick Foley, he's feuding with Foley. Now Foley, the January before, got The Rock over. Got The Rock over big. Now, The Rock was viewed as on a cusp of main event, and then Mick Foley got him over big. So he decides, I'm going to do, the, so he's told to do the same for Triple H. And Foley's like, maybe I should retire. Maybe I should not get this little prick over. But he does. And he did this in a series of matches they had early in the year. Where, fit, where Triple H pretty much beat the shit out of Foley and showed how vicious he can be. And that got Triple H to the point where it's like, okay, maybe you can be a main eventer. And then he started feuding with The Rock, and compared to The Rock, Triple H looks like a puddle of mud. While Triple H can go in the ring, he's nothing compared to The Rock. But The Rock said, hey, I'm not going to be around forever. I'll get this little prick over. And he did. And he did it earlier when they were both mid-carters. 
I mean, if you've ever watched the SummerSlam 1998 match, their ladder match. Oh, God, I don't want to get into this right now. But um, pretty much Triple H was booked to look like fucking Superman. And Iraq played the baddie. So, yeah. So The Rock got him over, busted his ass, got the man over, and now Triple H is in charge. And you'd think Triple H would go, you know, Stone Cold was told he'd never make it, yet the fans loved him. Mick Foley was told he'd never make it, yet the fans love him. The fans love Daniel Bryan, maybe he should make it. And Triple H is like, no, I don't like him. He's not my friend. We don't ride in cars together and smoke weed and... Take turns on Stephanie at night. I'm going to give it to my buddy Batista, who's coming back for a big payoff and in three years won't be here anymore because Batista needs... I don't know. Because I have sexual fantasies about Batista at night, I think is Triple H's logic. So, Batista won. And then it's like, you know, let's have Brian lose. Because I find Bray Wyatt scary because I've clearly never seen a good horror movie in my life. He's like, let's give the New Age Outlaws the tag titles because they carry good weed. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, but yeah. It's like, the people who made Triple H, I have a feeling if they knew how much of a selfish prick he was going to be. Would be like, fuck you guy, I'm not getting you over. I'm just going to let you be a selfish prick. And they wouldn't have got him over. I mean, if Stone Cold and Foley would have said, fuck you Triple H, we're not putting you over. WWF wouldn't have fired Stone Cold and Foley, they were over. They were big stars. They would have, WWF would have said, okay, let's get Big Show over. Let's get, you know, Jared over. Let's get Val Venus over. Let's, I mean, there were so many people on the roster who they could have been like, let's get them over. That Triple H would have been out of fucking luck. So yeah, in short, Triple H, count your blessings that these people did not know how big of a selfish prick you were going to be. Because they wouldn't have got you over. And no one would have bothered. No one would have cared if you hadn't gotten over. So, and these people who got you over were people who weren't given a chance. The Rock was booed out of the building when he first debuted. So, yeah. The st moral of the story is, Triple H is a selfish prick who gives titles to people who have good weed and gives Stephanie head, apparently. And the people who put him over should go beat the shit out of him. That's, those are the people who got him over, were Rock, Austin, Mick Foley. And they should have just beat the shit out of him when they got in the ring with him. Well, that's all.